Hello guys and welcome back to the United States of America with your host Get Out. In the previous episode we expanded the machines production and now it's time for some more food production. But before that let me show you what I did after some testing. By the way, you might notice that we have moved in time a little bit and that is because I recorded a few things for you but the recording turned out not to have been made correctly so you will not see them you didn't miss much i just improved a few lines by changing some vehicles improved a few oh my god did you see that anton of there on the right huge huge plane and another one is landing i love it so as i said you didn't miss much most of the changes that i did were lines overloaded stations things like that the typical stuff that i do before the beginning of every uh, at the beginning of every episode so without further ado we already reached the north distribution center where my new changes are so let me show you the changes now first you will see that this exit from the nedc is different why well, with the previous one where all the terminals were joining into this exit here, I noticed that some of the terminals were getting a lower priority and trains were stuck for a very long time here waiting for other trains to go first, which is an undesired behavior. So, now I have something that I think is a little bit more equal, I guess the game's logic for train priority in junctions is the culprit here so i think this solves the problem to an extent I, at least i did not notice any of the terminals getting any precedence before the other ones and as you can see we have two of them the two that are next to each other joining into one also here and here and then the three lines are coming here and separating three to the exit for the main line and three to go around the station and also I have one connection for the last terminal on this side of the distribution center to also join with the rest. So, I do not notice trains being stuck here and waiting for very long periods of time. And the other change is here when I am joining my trains to the Northeast Distribution Center, specifically for the line coming from Nashville over there, joining to this one coming from all the cities on the east coast and it joins in a fast manner like before to all the terminals here and that definitely opened up a lot the main line here because i was getting trains stuck waiting for each other because if you remember before all those two lines were also connecting here and that meant that we have only one um point of entrance for the whole northeast distribution center and when we have a lot of trains that becomes a problem you will see here that trains are packing up a little bit as well and that is because we have plenty of trains coming to chicago station which i also have changed for that and specific reason that we have plenty of coal and steel and all the deliveries for chicago coming here on the right and that backing up happens primarily because of that it is getting better with time from what i can see i hope it improves even more but unless i do something like another i don't know tunnel that goes directly to chicago or some other way of dealing with this i don't think i will see a bigger improvement okay that's it now a very very quick check to see if we have something that we can fix immediately oh yeah well this is probably because of things backing up yeah if you remember i already increased this once and there is not much we can do here other than maybe adding a few more buildings here so that we have more capacity on the station let's add three on each side that's definitely going to increase it a lot so that we don't waste our coal and considering that that's my only 
overloaded. Oh, how did we go above 400? Okay, and here I see things not not working exactly as expected, but that's probably because we don't have enough deliveries of coal. Yeah, hopefully this is going to improve with time. Okay, let's see if something is losing a lot of money. Not that much. This one, yeah, I understand why. All right, all right, that's it. That's it for the intro for today. And what happens next for us is increasing our food production with four more factories. Okay, for a first step, we will expand the station in Postman, make it more good looking with more entrances for cargo, and then place the two food factories that we will need to have here. It's going to take a little bit of adjusting, of course, but in the end, I think it's going to be very, very nice. And there we have the two farms, sorry, the two food factories. Now we're going to have two more food factories, but first, of course, we have to increase the capacity of the station and make it suitable to accept connections on the other side. And I couldn't quite understand here why it was telling me that it cannot build it in the beginning. It could be because of that tunnel over there. Honestly, now that I think about it, I probably didn't need this road. But with it or without it, it's not a big of a difference. And now we have one, and this will be two. Of course, now we have to deliver grain to the new food factories. We have four farms around Minneapolis. Because we have two new factories, I will have to double the production capacity for each of them. As you know, two grain produce one foot. And also we have, we need four farms for one foot plant. And in the majority of cases, it makes the most sense to just put them in a parallel, no, yeah, parallel, I think so, parallel way is the correct way to say it. And here, because it's already, we are far in the game 2021, I have access to very, very fast trucks. So I'm going to use this white road, which gives me 100 kilometers per hour. Now I'm going to start by placing some stations and I definitely didn't see how deep we are here on this side but there is nothing to be done to be honest i was just surprised to see it renaming the stations of course on this station we will need on both sides to have terminals and soon you will find out why okay i'm also going to upgrade the road in the middle because i'm going to put the station at the far end of the two farms. Here is going to be the same. Renaming them as well just to just to make them different, I guess. Because the default names are not very descriptive. That road 
looks good, but it digs too much, probably, and now it creates a bridge. And the truth is somewhere in the middle, of course. Yeah, that turn is going to slow the trucks down, that's a certain. This is probably not going to be perfect neither, but it's still better. And I also need to put a station there, which I will do later. But for now, I will concentrate on creating the roads. Okay, it makes a little bit more sense to not connect them to the same station, but to have a separate station for these two far ones. And then connect the close one to the other station there at the end. That's why I had terminals on both sides, not only on the right. And I'm going to commit a mistake here, which I'm going to find out about a little bit later. And that is when you connect, I don't understand why the game does that, but when you connect the station directly to a big road, it wants to place a traffic light as well, which is an undesirable situation for us. Currently, there is no need for that. Also here, the curvature of the road is not to my liking, so we will have to work a little bit to find a better connection to the other road. Honestly, I do not appreciate how the road is in this game. Hopefully in the next one, they will make it a little bit better. And finally, putting the station for these two farms as well. Right, we also need a depot, but we face the same problem, so the depot will have to be in another place where we don't have a light. And here I will notice my mistake, and I will have to redo things once more. And now we have the station, and I'm going to connect it actually in a pretty cool way. I really like the end result here. And finish up the road that I just deleted. Okay. Things are looking fine. And now the depot can be connected to these roads as well. And I'm going to use the big dumb truck. In the majority of cases, I imagine. Renaming the stations that were left behind. And now going for the next part of the setup, which is going to be the farms for the Postman food plants. I'm going to follow the same idea here with two exceptions. I will connect them by train in the end. I will have these four on this side with one train station and the four on the other side with another train station. It is fairly far from Bosman, uh, five and a half kilometers. So that definitely makes sense for a place where we can use a train. So I'm going to bring the, the grain from the, those first two farms that I created by trucks to here. And from here, I'm going to bring for all four of them by train. And also, why did I do did that? First of all, trains are more efficient in longer distances that's why i'm not doing it from the close farm but from the further one and also the connection for the further farm would be much easier to create than for this one and you will see me doing it in a bit after i finish with uh, playing around a little bit with these uh, assets here it's a square farm what's the problem I might decide to do this for the rest of them. Kind of looks good. Alright, and it's time to do some rails. 
yeah here we are very far which is actually to my benefit because the connection is going to be fairly easy to make with the bridge since we are already high and yeah better better do the other one first like this and also there is an even better way first to make a left turn like that place the bridge and then make the turn towards the main line on top of the main line itself a little bit tricky but it will end up being very very nice we don't want to cross the the main line in an ugly way and we want to have a beautiful connection as well here and this one now would be much easier to create and of course we want the connection to not be ugly and putting the signals and we will be ready with this part of the setup i think it looks awesome i like it very very much and now what are we going to do here so there is obviously a few options and i'm going to end up doing what i have been doing so far so adding farms across the already existing ones and also adding this one next to the other one and then putting the station right next to them and now we need to put some infrastructure of course as usual station which could be difficult sometimes and a station on the other side to receive the grain that needs to be connected to the train station which is going to bring it to the food plant and now the road here should not be with a huge gradient because the trucks are going to come full and they're going that's going to slow them down and we don't want that and we have a beautiful road connecting the two farms and a depot which i will have to build anyway with a right click on the bus all right it is looking very very nice and now it's time for more rail unfortunately here the land is a little bit higher so we will have to dig through it and unfortunately the trains full of grain will have to go up the hill here i'm, I'm attempting to directly connect which is not going to work initially and now we have I decided that the tunnel is a little bit easier to create so I will end up doing the bridge first also I didn't want to make it unreasonable here in terms of like creating tunnels and stuff like that so I'm going to abandon this idea and I'm going to start the connections from the other side. Okay. 
And as you can see, creating the tunnel here is easy, but the bridge would take a little bit longer to create. Although not difficult neither because of how the previous connections were built and getting to the height needed to cross on top of the other lines is not going to be difficult at all. Just have to find a good looking space to do it so that the supports of the bridge do not look weird. And extending to the rest of the rail that I built already. Trying not to create too many bridges and tunnels, of course. And the tunnel is going to be fairly easy right now because we already have a tunnel there. Just need to connect. I'm not quite sure if in real life there is such tunnel connections. Probably I don't see why not, but I do not know. So I don't know how realistic this is. And of course, after we finish connecting the rails, we need to put some signals. And after the signals are ready, we have to fix this ugly connection. After the signals are placed, I will go back to the previous setup and finish up the truck stations by adding the new aggregate mod that I have, just to make them look a little bit better, a little bit more with a nice touch. I honestly don't know why the developers decided to have these bare stations with nothing on them. It would have been nice to have like a, a few different types like in uh, workers and resources for example. The Soviet Republic workers and resources. But yeah, that will be the last step of this construction set up and the next thing i have to do of course is create lines and make all of this working and produce food for the towns Here we are with our new setup built and ready to accept orders. So let's start bringing some grain to the farms. So we will start with these ones here, I think, because the farms are right next to the grain. The other ones are going to take more time to set up. Uh, but actually, speaking of that, maybe I should start with these ones. Let's create the lines. Okay, so from here to here, going to be cargo truck, and we have Mean Farms West. And this is Grain Supply. Grain was this, if I'm not mistaken. Here. We are going to number two, using one, and picking up the grain. And we are not moving without a full load. But let's open it like that. I start it like that, I don't think. It's a big deal. And here we are also going to number two with number one, and we are unloading the grain. Okay. This is this one. Now, I realize that I have to create the line, but where am I going to? Not this one for sure. Oh, this one is very, very far. Okay. 
maybe I can create one over here. A depot. Thing like this. And ready. Cool. Now we can create the line from this station to that station. And this is cargo rail supply, and of course, is uh, mean Bozeman train supply. We need the color, and here it doesn't matter. And in Postman, not quite sure. Uh, but definitely use all the alternatives. And of course, we have grain in, grain out. Okay, this one also has to be set up. And first, we should set up. That one, exactly, and then the other one. So, let's do it. We are going to buy a locomotive. We want by attractive effort. What was it? Uh, actually, 120 kilometers, but I want 160. This one, very expensive, but more attractive effort than this one, and it's electric. Ugh. Okay, let's buy it. And we need cargo gondola, but a fast one. Where is my fast one? Boxcar. Where is the other gondola? Ah. The red one. Okay. Okay, let's buy this. And mean postman. One is 26. Ugh. That calculation is not to my liking. Which means... Ten of them, 260. I need to get to... 800. So that's four trains or two trains, three trains, like 52 and I need two 16. Wait, what? My calculations today. So two are 52 and I need eight of those. So 16 in general. Yes. No, 32 exactly. So that's 2 of 16. Okay, let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yes, exactly. 413. And I cannot make it only one for sure because this is a 217 and it's mediocre. Which is like it's going to get at 160 kilometers when it reaches its destination, which I really hate. You know, I can make myself a test and let's see how profitable this is going to be. I'm super curious. Okay, let's modify it. Ah, it's already there, so 413. Okay, let's see how this is going to go. This should start producing immediately. And these two are going to give me the 400 that I need. So I don't think I need these farms yet. But I will still make them because I don't want to come back to do this later. Oh, I should, of course, buy myself a depot here. This looks like the perfect location. And buy myself a grain truck so we have two dump trucks 87 that one is double double yeah but it's double the capacity and faster 
and more horsepower absolutely like this dump truck is the best dump truck in my life 114 so we will need just four of those beauties i actually don't now i realize i don't need two uh two terminals okay um this one is ready Should I play the game? Let's play the game and see how it goes. Okay, this one here. Mm, oh, by the way, I think I want to also configure this to be out of great and go to four immediately. And you as well. And they have fully upgraded themselves magically. <laughs> which is going to start producing a ton of grain over here uh, consumers interesting so that's 800 i'm curious why suppliers why we're not at max Although this is at level 4. I need explanations. Oh, and the train is here. With these sexy cars. By the way, by the way, by the way. Uh, manage line. Are you going to go lower now? No, stay the same. For now. Okay, okay. Are we producing here? Yes, we are. Two trucks were completely enough to get everything. Okay, okay. Ooh, let's do the rest. Well, this is getting ready. So from here to here, we need exactly the same cargo truck. These are Denver farms. Denver farms. Okay. Denver farms grain supply. We need the color, we need number two, number two. Okay, and we need to load the grain, unload the grain. Okay, and by this guy add it there 109 perfect four hundred and thirty six perfection and now we need one from here and again to Bozeman cargo rail supply how am I going to call it Kansas Bozeman Rain supply color both doesn't matter load the grain unload the grain and this should start producing no this is very very interesting Okay, I understand, but I don't understand. We shall see, we shall see. Okay, and... We need a train here, of course. <laughs> um, do I care? No, I, I, I would just buy it here. By the way, can we try just copying that one? No, 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 let's buy a new one. Yeah, at least now I know the locomotives. Do I? This one, right? Yes, and the wagons are these beauties. Oh, and I have to add them to Kansas Post. 26. Oh! Is it exactly the same? Okay, so that means... 
4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 and another of these beauties 422 okay okay where is my new train this one go baby oh you're so fast already that's what i need 91 yeah let's see if this is going to actually uh lose money not lose money i want to oof yeah by the way are we already producing here we are awesome so we have plenty of supplies here which is good i thought though that i will get them all working at max which i do not see yet and i do not understand why is that maybe it just needs some time to realize what's happening okay so it's time for more lines this would be cargo truck and this is mean farms east grain supply please load the grain unload the grain you can take number three and you can get the color as well oh let's buy you a dump truck the farms east 81 oh that's going to be exactly five four hundred awesome stuff okay four three more lines here to which one was this one this one this is cargo truck uh mean farms uh what mean farms south okay and grain supply you can take two and one and load the grain and unload the grain and go to three as well and one and two and perfect assign to south 97 oh no 390 no okay let's replace you with the other dump truck 407 Woo! only 17 it doesn't make much sense i am not convinced i will sell you we shall see i think it might increase anyway this one might be just one truck let's see cargo truck mean farms close grain supply color uh this one is number one nothing else and here is unload the grain and here is load the grain and that should do it after we buy one dump truck and assign it to the close one 224 i was wrong 448 how fast are you going 100 kilometers baby yes beautiful beautiful trucks okay and we have one last line here from here to here cargo truck mean farms west uh these are not only west mean farms southwest 
grain supply and this is going to bother me there we go let's open it here you can take on the first one number two and one and the grain and unload the grain and here one or two actually let's see two not three and two and perfect dump truck southwest okay that's four of them yeah i maybe overestimated how many <laughs> terminals i'm going to need i think i'm going to be fine with one on each side but it's okay it's not a big deal here we are going higher and higher here we're just waking up you just heard the rooster here as well here we are already awake and these guys oh not these guys are going up as well and i think i will need that means i will need another train here oh okay Ooh, 475 okay i will copy and i should probably copy this one as well oh what okay that was not what i wanted to do i'll copy this one as well then we shall see no no stop stop oh so stupid can you believe this yeah, I will do the same. This motherfucker blocked you. Unbelievable. So slow on top of everything. 21. That's the... Oh! <laughs> don't. Don't. Okay. Cool stuff. Let's go faster. Now, what is the last step? The last step, of course, is to bring all the food from Bozeman to NEDC. And what happened with my line? Ah, okay. This is going to pick up stuff back to Bozeman. So I don't think number 8 is good. I will check terminals. Number 12. Number 12. Okay, and also 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14. Good. So, in Bozeman, you will pick up stuff. So that means I have to check also here. Line 1. Uh, let's give you a name because you're going to be Cargo Rail Delivery. Because you're going to bring me back stuff. And this is Bose, NEDC, and that is food, cargo. Uh, how did I call it? Boxcar, right? Boxcar and then food delivery. But it should be Bose, NEDC, Bose then. yep so here it took number two which is fine because number two is free and all of this ends at bozeman number three number two okay that's fine that's fine okay so in bozeman you will load the food and unload everything else and in the north, you will unload the food and load everything else. I hope this works. Okay. Now we need boxcar and fast one. Mm -hmm. It's going to be that one as usual. And this is a boxcar, it's that one. 
buy in there. This should be 400 at least. 11. 11. Oh, oh my god. Manage vehicles. Excellent. It's not going to be excellent for very long. I should mediocre. How much is this? 100, then 36. So I will need plenty of trains here. But actually this could be just three trains, right? And if I want, I can even add them another locomotive at the end if I decide to. That's 408, which is exactly what we need. And we already have consumers, of course. Ooh, why so slow? I was probably waiting for some motherfucker to exit here. Okay, we are already coming here with the grain. Finances are not looking terrible, but they are not making me money. That's a certainty. Oh, we shall see. We shall see. I am very curious how this experiment is going to turn out to be. Double locomotives. Because look how fast they are. Are we already having food here? Yes, we are. Because we have stored enough enough grain already that's pretty pretty good i am a little bit concerned about this one it's getting lower for some reason they are making money probably Ooh. oh okay okay oh why so low Maybe I can... It's a good, which is good. Man, everything is so heavy at 160 kilometers per hour. It's incredible. Okay. I think I might let the game play for a little bit to check how they're going to do these trains. Let's see. 81. 35. What? 15. Yeah, I guess there was some trouble on the main line. And see how this goes. Ah, that's the new one, yeah, with the boxcars. Look how fast. And they're beautiful, these boxcars. No doubt about that. Fast, fast trains. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I think we definitely need to double this. Okay, so one thing that uh, I noticed actually is that we have a traffic jam with trains, which is unusual, but it happens. And that is because we definitely didn't have enough capacity for this station here. And it's a terrible idea to have up the hill a traffic jam. In general, it's a terrible idea. So, let's fix that. Okay, so I moved already both NDC boss to the first terminal. Bosma Detroit will be the second terminal. All of these guys, I think they're going to go to the last terminal, maybe? Five. 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 Okay. They're all delivering to Bozeman, so that's perfect. And now the last thing I have to do is also give them all the alternatives. Like this.
Oh. Almost. Okay, so that should definitely improve that part of the setup. And also, guess what? Oh, we are finally going to take this enormous amount of food from here. Yep. Also, I think that my experiment, okay, not this one, the other experiment works. We have these guys and these guys with the double trains, double locomotives, and they are generating a ton of money. I don't know if it's as much as with one locomotive, but I like it like it is now, and we are going to start improving things. So, first thing... I think I saw... Okay, that's 845 and that's 826. That's perfect. That means we can also make these guys double locomotives this boy oh just outside the range but now with a double locomotive i think i should be able to make them shorter we shall see how this goes we're going to start wasting even more money but that's fine we have plenty of those oof that hurts okay and since soon i'm going to start uh improving my lines uh is this the one here yeah hmm should we give it one more let's give it one more why not uh passenger at let's go let's take all the people let's not leave anyone waiting There we go. Let's go. Perfect. I don't need these ones to generate so much money. I just need them to connect my cities with each other. Do we have a traffic jam anymore? I don't think so. We shouldn't. There's plenty, plenty of terminals to use. Why is this train so slow though? I cannot say. Okay, going back to take the grain. Oh, no, no, no. Just clicking buttons for no reason. No apparent reason. Okay. I think that that experiment worked. I think that Bozeman now has better capacity for the cargo trains especially. And now I will wrap it up for today. Feel free to share your thoughts on today's episode in the comment section. I also have a request. Since the end of this playthrough is approaching, I would love your suggestions for the next one. I have a few ideas myself about what I want to do, but you are very welcome to share any maps or any other input. For example, what kind of structure you would like me to play. As always, Thank you for watching and see you soon.